for us to find the derivative of each function. Let's begin with f of x equals x to the power of negative five times e to the x. Because we have a product, we need to apply the product rule of differentiation to find f prime of x. So beginning with the given function, for the purpose of the formula, we will let the first function be u and the second function be v. In this form, the derivative of u times v with respect to x is equal to u times v prime plus v times u prime, or the first function times the derivative of the second function plus the second function times the derivative of the first function, which means f prime of x is equal to the first function, or u, which is x to the power of negative five, times the derivative of the second function, or v prime, which is a derivative with respect to x of e to the x, and then plus the second function, which is v, times the derivative of the first function, or u prime, which is a derivative of x to the power of negative five. And now let's find the two derivatives. f prime of x is equal to x to the power of negative five times the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. And then we have plus e to the x times the derivative of x to the power of negative five, which is negative five times x to the power of negative five minus one, which is negative six. Simplifying, we have x to the power of negative five e to the x, and then we have minus five x to the power of negative six e to the x. So this is one way we can express the derivative, but there are several other ways. For example, we can factor out the greatest common factor, which would be x to the power of negative five e to the x. So let's also show various forms of the derivative function. f prime of x in factored form would be x to the power of negative five e to the x times the quantity one minus five x to the power of negative one. If we distribute, we still have x to the negative fifth e to the x minus five x to the negative sixth e to the x. And then one more way we could express this using positive exponents. x to the power of negative five e to the x is equivalent to e to the x divided by x to the fifth and then we'd have times the quantity one minus five times x to the power of negative one is equivalent to five divided by x. So depending on your materials, you may find the derivative in any of these three forms. And now let's find g prime of x. Again, notice g of x is a product. For the purpose of our formula, we will let the first function be equal to u and the second function be equal to v. g prime of x is equal to the first function, or u, times the derivative of the second function, or v prime, which is the derivative of e to the x with respect to x, plus the second function, or v, times the derivative of the first function, or u prime, which is the derivative of three x squared minus two with respect to x. And now let's find the two derivatives. g prime of x equals the quantity three x squared minus two times the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. And then we have plus e to the x times the derivative of three x squared minus two with respect to x, which is six x. So this is the derivative function and we could probably leave it in this form here, but let's distribute the e to the x. So we could say g prime of x is equal to three x squared e to the x minus two e to the x plus six x e to the x. We could also express the derivative in this form or we could factor out the greatest common factor and write the terms in descending order, which would be e to the x times the quantity three x squared and then plus six x and then minus two. So once again, we can express the derivative in several forms. We can express the derivative in this form, this form, or this form. I hope you found this helpful.